Hey, Marcus, it looked like um, just from a guys getting open standpoint that if Matt had more time, there were some down the field opportunities that he just couldn't quite get to. Is that fair? Uh, that is fair. Um, you know, obviously we're getting a little bit more pressure than we we should be getting right now on Matt. We got to get it protection kind of settle down and um, and then we'll be able to get more opportunities in the back in there. James Boyd. Marcus, I know um, you all have been confident in this re receiving group and the tight end group, but what does it does? For, what does it do for the confidence of your rookies when they're able to have that moment where it mattered the most and they came through? Um, yeah, so I mean, part of it could be a defining moment for those guys. Uh, you know, a lot of it building confidence is just having success. Um, and so when they go out there and then have that success, then it just, you know, it, it bleeds confidence in themselves and, and it kind of springs them forward. Um, so we're hoping we get that both out of our, you know, our two young guys and Jelani and Alec who, you know, made some big plays in the game. And, um, you know, hopefully we get some more production out of that. And, um, you know, we're looking forward to that. It will definitely help our offense. JJ? Marcus, watching the tape, it, it looks like there were quite a few successful blitz pickups in the game on Sunday. Are there things that you can build on just in terms of that going forward? Well, definitely. I mean, that's in everything, you know, um, and what we've got to be is more consistent. Um, yeah, we did pick up some pressures, got gotten the right call, picking them up nice and clean and completed a pass. Um, but too many times where we're not picking it up and, you know, what you're looking for, you know, as offense and production is consistency and we got to be better there. Is it a matter of when the blitz isn't getting picked up, it, it's often hitting home and that's kind of leading to it seeming like it, it's happening more often than it maybe is? It, it definitely is. Uh, miscommunication on who's picking up who. And, I mean, that's something that we are, you know, we went through those plays, getting it corrected, we're cleaning it up. Um, you know, when, you know, as a quarterback and you sit back, he's like, I could, but if I know who the free guy is, then I'm okay. But, you know, if I'm thinking someone's picked up and he's not, that's when it, you get surprised. And, you know, that kind of happened um, too much the other day. George Bremer. Marcus, uh, how concerned are you about the, the fumbles right now from Matt Ryan and how much of that is sort of a byproduct of the miscommunication issues up front? Um, it's a little bit of both, but definitely concerning, uh, you know, you know, we stress that all the time. Ball security is not, you know, number one. We got to, you know, we got to possess the ball. Um, and he's continued working on it. Um, he just got to do a better job when he gets out the pocket of, you know, keeping two hands on the ball. Uh, and then some of it's added to just the amount of pressure that he's getting as well. So um, it's a collective, um, collective group um, fix there. Um, so we just, everybody's got to do their part and getting us better. Well, last one here, James Boyd. Marcus, for the offensive line, is the main issue communication or, or what do you view as the, the biggest issues going on right now? Um, with the line, um, I would say that's the main issue right now is just communication, being on, this, being on the same page, you know, everybody, quarterback, O-line, running back, just being all, all on the same page um, and getting that cleaned up. Um, just, and so that pre-snap, they know exactly where JT needs to know where his eyes need to be. Uh, Matt needs to know where his eyes need to be. And so just getting that communication fixed is, is what we're stressing right now.